Hey everyone, today it is about when you wear a see-through shirt in front of him. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo Katsuki You walk into the common area of UA High, wearing a new shirt you recently bought. It's a little more sheer than you initially thought, but you're feeling confident in it. As you pass by Bakugo, he stops in his tracks and looks at you. Damn, you look hot. He says, his eyes scanning your outfit. You feel a flush of hate rise to your cheeks, surprised by his compliment. Thanks, you say, trying to play it cool. Bakugo grins. Ah, uh, no problem. Just don't be surprised if I can't keep my hands off of you. He says, winking at you before walking away. You can't help but smile to yourself, feeling a little smug at the effect you're having on him. Taruki Shoto. He was in his room, and you just bought a new shirt, so you wanted to show him. Anyway, you just went inside his room. So I'm sitting on the bed. You felt quite confident, actually. Taruki catches your eye and gives you a small smile. You look really nice today. He says, his gaze lingering on your outfit. You feel a flutter in your stomach at his compliment. Thank you, Taruki. You say, feeling a little shy. Taruki nods. You should wear outfits like that more often. They suit you very much, actually. And you look really pretty. He says, before turning his attention back on his work. You feel a sense of pride at his words. Glad that he noticed your effort. Mirai Izuku. You walk into the common area of Yue, wearing a new shirt that you just recently bought. You're actually feeling pretty good in it, even though it's not your style. Mirai looks up from his book, and his eyes widen, as he takes in your outfit. Wow, you look really pretty. He says, a blush spreading across his cheeks. You feel your own face turn pink at his words. Thanks, Midoriya. You say, feeling a little giddy. Midoriya smiles at you. You always look nice, but there's just something about that shirt that really suits you. He said, before going back to his book. You can't help but feel a little flattered by his words. Glad that he thinks you look good, and also glad that he had that book in his hands. Um, I mean, he would have seen you blushing. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Kirishima Jiro. You had just went shopping with Mina. Kirishima had dropped you off. And you bought a new shirt. That you had thought that looked pretty, even though it's not really your style. So, he immediately went to Kirishima's room after you were back to show it to him. Kirishima catches sight of you. And his eyes light up. Oh, Wyon, you look so hot in that shirt. He says, a big grin spreading across his face. You feel a surge of excitement at his words. Thanks, Kirishima. You say, feeling a little bold. Kirishima palms his fist in the air. You're killing it today, Wyon. Keep it up, he says, before running off to join his friends. You can't help but feel a little empowered by his encouragement. Glad that he thinks you look good. Dinky Kaminari. You had a date with Dinky, and of course, you being the stylish person you are, had to go shopping the day before. And so you bought a new shirt. And it was actually quite out of your style, but you just found it nice. And so you went on the date with it the next day. When Dinky saw you and your outfit, he gave you a playful grin. Whoa, Wyatt, is it getting hot in here or is it just you? He says, winking at you. You roll your eyes at his cheesy pickup line, but can't help but feel a little flattered. Thanks, Dinky. You say, try not to laugh. Dinky chuckles, noticing how you were acting self-conscious. But seriously. You look amazing today. 
he says, his eyes scanning your outfit. You feel a small blush creeping up on your cheeks. Thank you, Dinky. You say, feeling a little bashful. Dinky grins. No problem, Wyon. You always look good. But today, you're on a whole other level. He says, before playfully nudging your arm. You can't tell but laugh at his antics, feeling grateful for his compliments and lightheartedness. Shenzo Hitoshi, you're walking through the halls of Yue Hai when Shenzo catches sight of your new sheer shirt. His eyes widen slightly as they take in the sight before he clears his throat and approaches you. Wyon, you look amazing. Absolutely stunning, actually, in that shirt. He says, his voice low and husky. You feel a wave of warmth wash over you at his words, feeling a sense of pride in your appearance. Thank you, Shinsao. You're looking pretty good to yourself. You reply, noting the way you see your costume hugs his body in all the right places. I have to say, it's taking a lot of self-control to not just take you somewhere private right now. He says, his eyes darkening with desire. Maybe you can find a quiet spot later? You suggest, feeling a little daring. Shinsa grins, his hand tightening on your back. I like the way you think, Wyan. He says, before leaning in to press a heated kiss against your lips. Aizawa Shota. As you enter the staff room at UA, Aizawa glances up from his paperwork and catches sight of your new shirt. His eyes flicker with interest before going back on his work. Interesting shirt choice, Wyan. Is it too much? Oh, not at all. It's actually perfect. Um, yeah, I guess. He breathed a small sigh of relief, blushing a little at his compliment. I mean, he never was straightforward like that, was he? Dabby, you're on a mission with the League of Villains. When Dabby catches sight of your new shirt, his eyes linger on your figure for a moment before he smirks. Wow, well, Lion, you're looking pretty hot in that, he says, his voice all dangerous. You feel a little uncomfortable with his forwardness, especially in the middle of a mission. Uh, thanks, Tabby. No need to be shy, Wyan. I like a little boldness. He says, before turning his attention back to the mission. And he didn't actually want to admit it, but you were flustered. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye!